earthworks and I, th I think the earthworks also have Bronze Age origins as well it, it, it's a circular mound um, it was first seen on aerial photographs and I think there was a little archaeological dig over here some time back so we're gonna so we've just come out and t t just to have a little look and see if we can see ourselves because we can't see a huge amount on Google Maps it doesn't really show you a huge amount it's quite flat but um, hopefully we'll find something so here we go here we are in Felston Just down there, and yeah, that's a bridle pathway just just in between these two fields. And it was a little bit muddy to get through on our bikes. And to be honest with you, it was a bit too muddy for me to walk through. So I've left Yana looking after the bikes at the moment. I'll just take a walk up. See if I can see anything of interest. It's quite possible that most of the earthworks here have probably been ploughed out by now. Now originally they thought there could have been a henge here. But it's quite a bit of debate whether or not a henge actually exists or not. And, and actually here, you can actually see earthworks. I don't know if you can see that at home. It's ditch work here and this hill. Being here on site, you can actually see it a lot clearer. And the site is located just here where the fork, where the pathway forks off in two directions. So the public footpath goes in that direction and carries on in that direction. Can I take a little look? on the ground and do a tiny bit of field walking as well and hopefully something interesting might pop up. I've found that that it's like quite a small abrader stone or a grinding stone. 
We found quite a few of these on the site, on the other side that Yana and I have been searching. But this is by far the smallest. Okay, I've just come down to the bottom of the field. I'm going to start here and take a slow walk home. really been that lucky with finding anything any stone age items but it's quite difficult to see anything in this particular field because it hasn't been ploughed and there's crops in the field Stone here. It's not the best one we found. Well, I think that pretty much concludes our trip to Felston today. We haven't had a huge amount of luck finding any flint tools. There's crops in the ground and it hasn't been ploughed and the ground's quite quite firm. But I have to say it's quite a nice site and it's definitely going to be worth a little visit I think later in the year perhaps in the autumn when, when the field's been ploughed over so we're definitely going to come back here and have a proper look but in the meantime here's one last view of settlement, the Neolithic settlement, would have had an incredible view right across Essex because we're on a hill. Okay everybody, bye for now and Yana and I will see you all soon. Bye! bye. Give them a quick wave then, Yana. <laughs> right, bye everybody. And see you in the next episode.